Getting a career in photography was about as easy as becoming an astronaut. A bit of a fascination when I was a kid, always borrowing my mum's camera and putting all the film through it and getting into trouble. If I give that a little bit more thought, it's more about um, when you go through life and you find yourself confronted by cool stuff, you want to chip a piece off and take it with you. And it's always nice to record something and then you, you kind of take a little piece of whatever's cool along with you. I remember just going down the library and looking at photo books and remember thinking, you know, this is, some of this is really, really cool, especially like music photography from the late 70s. And, and a lot of that really made me start you know, looking at black and white photography at college and just getting that tonality was always interesting to me as well as the content. Getting a nice tonality was something that was just a mystery for years and I eventually cracked it at college and it was a little bit of an epiphany, a bit of a eureka moment. Every day is a little bit different, you never know what you could get assigned. And sometimes you know you need to be a master of flash photography and other times you need to be a master of available light photography. Other times it's less about photography and more to do about people and trying to get uh, you know, something nice out of someone in a portraiture session. So you never know what you could get and I, I love that, it keeps you on your toes, it's um, fun. There's a particular body of work which I've done which is some uh, backstage fashion and um, I can really have fun with that. It's uh, pitch dark, uh, black walls, black floor and a row of models wearing incredible stuff just standing there waiting for the show to begin. So I took a reflector and just bounced some light up from one of the spots back up at her from slightly underneath. From where there was no picture at all, where there's no light whatsoever, just by bouncing a little bit of light. Boom, there's the picture. Well, the most important thing in your kit bag is your attitude. I think, you know, you've got to have an optimistic attitude where even when things are looking a little bit ropey, you can, you can find something in your trick bag to make a nice picture. So, I think, just like your own conditioning and your own upbringing and your own education and your own personality flood out in your photos. Just be yourself, just do, do your thing and don't necessarily worry about what's going on around you or what other people do and just stick to your guns, you know, just do what you feel is the right technique and strategy to employ to get something because everybody else is taken so just be yourself. <laughs>